spraying the racks. I want to go viral, though. Well, I'm telling you, bro. This I shit going. I dug my shit out the ground. What I just said? I was mad at him. What? And I said, this nigga done made me dig my bread up out the ground. I don't even do shit like this. Yeah. I said, he ain't even here, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to pull up, man. You thought I was going to come? Pause. Well, when I hit you and hit me back, I just figured maybe dude was late and you just. Yeah, it's the, the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi was terrible out here, bro. The service and shit. So I couldn't really get on my Instagram and hit oh, yeah, you. You definitely in the country, fool. Yeah. Hey, fool, you in the country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. God, I bought the racks out, though. Okay. Hey, babe, I, I said, babe, he said, bring the racks out. Like, I said, I at least <laughs> bring 50,000. Like, no cap. You can count it before the video. So niggas don't think you playing. Like, just put yeah. that as clickbait. Like, this ain't no clickbait. Yeah. Carolina rapper. Okay. Carolina rapper. Yeah. Does an interview with 50 grand on the Camaro. Okay. With the top off. About 10 in his mouth, you fucking cowards. Real shit, man. Yeah, man. This shit out the mud, too. Yeah. Go buy the shit. More money clothing. We got that. Yeah. Carolina Mind State, the mixtape. You in the hood, too. You see niggas just beat when they ride by. Yeah. I said, bitch, I got to pull up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just the time. You just yeah, got here, bro. I said, bro. I just, I just got real, off. Real, real out the mud, man. though, man. Go pull up. Hop on my nigga, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we really That's what's roll up. up. Alright, you ask anything you want to. Okay. You ask anything you want. I'm, right. I got an open case. Don't ask me about that. Okay, alright. You, I can't ask you nothing. Like, how you got it? I mean, what is it about? Um, yeah, you can. You okay. can. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck all it. Right. That's, gonna make, that's what people want to see. Yeah, man. Who we got on Future TV right now, man, for the streets that's watching? Chuck motherfucking money, nigga. Mo okay. County Finest. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Okay. Chuck money, nigga. Hold on. Yeah, what up? Real money, my nigga, man. Know what's really, going on, man. Really like out the mud, too. though, bro. Come on, bro. Like, no. this shit ain't, nigga, this is my grandma house I got you at, Phil. This ain't no prop city, no. This is my grandmother crib, bro. Yeah. But what's up? What you want to talk to me about? I've been waiting on this. I've been wanting to meet you, yeah. my nigga. Like, well, most definitely, my yeah. nigga, man. Where we at with it, man, for people that's going to um, watch you this? You in Jackson Hamlet, North Carolina, man. Okay. You see it on the net. You in JH. Um, This is Moore County. Um, we not too far from Fayetteville, I'ma say that, cause that's a place people probably know is Fayetteville, but yeah. nigga, you in the real trenches, real country, real like, real niggas came from here, nigga, millionaires that been made in this county right here. Damn. So this is where you at, Jackson Hamlet, man, with your boy Chuck Money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you the first artist that I ever interviewed from out here, you okay. know what I'm saying? You the first one. Now, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they, they know about the bigger cities like Raleigh, Charlotte, you know what I'm saying, Durham and all that shit, but they don't really know about Pinehurst. Right. What? How would you describe Pinehurst, bro? Well, I ain't even going to cap like Pinehurst is this motherfucking other. My, this little section right here is three streets, Cotton, Dawkins, and Gaines. Yeah. So now this little section, like, but Pinehurst more, if you look it up, you're going to see like some U.S. Open type shit, Tiger Woods, niggas like that, but... If you ask about Jackson Hamlet, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas gonna let you know where you at. But now, as far as the county, like, I'm gonna tell you where it really go down. Like, really, the whole county go down more. But, like, Southern Pines, more, that's like the little city area. Yeah. But I got love out there, too. So, shout out to the east side, west side, everybody out there, too. Yeah. So, what was it like for you growing up out here, though, man? Like, what what stuff was you into growing up man, when you I was had coming flies up? Flies around my mouth and shit. Nah, I'm bullshit. <laughs> 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 I'm bullshit. And nah, man, I came up. You know how a lot of niggas, like, always say the cliche shit, like, my story, like everybody else. Yeah. But, like, Really, I came up in that shit, man. Like, you see this pink house right here? Get that on there, few. Yeah. Yeah, get him that pink house. We really came up in that house, bro. Like a shack, my nigga. Yeah. Like, so a lot of niggas to talk where they came from. Like, this is really my grandma house where my dad came up. Okay. And, um, you know, I had a good mom. My mom sold drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so I kind of was like a product of my vibe. And not saying the nigga that came from where I'm from don't got opportunities, but, you know, like... You know, niggas from the hood, we only got so many opportunities, niggas. You can play ball or what you gonna do. Or rap. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or rap or and um but but coming up, man, it was just like every other kid, like shit. I wanted shoes and wanted shit I seen people had and I didn't have it. And when you young, your parents and shit might can tell you like everything okay and you know, you could take it and run with it, like, okay, yeah, everything all right. But when you get older, like 15, 16, like you start seeing shit like well damn, like, um, wow. Damn, why ain't a lot of food in there like it was before? But damn, my niggas got on Iversons. I got on goddamn Skechers with the willy bottoms. Like, yeah. I ain't trying to skate in school. You know what I'm saying? Most like, definitely. I'm trying to live. So, you know what I mean? I came up like that, man. Like, no father. You know what I mean? He tried to do what he can. As you see my stepmom that okay. we got on camera earlier. Yeah. She, uh, 
fuck with my pops was real. He passed, he he's deceased, so RP to my father. Okay. And, um, you know, it was just, it, it was like every other nigga, man. Just a young nigga come up, wanted more, and just wanted more out of life, bro. Most definitely, man. So, I mean, what age would you say that you really started getting into the streets and shit, bro? About 16. 16? Yeah, I say I say 16 is when, like, we moved. I, I, I'm fucking, I'm going to give my story. This is my first big interview. So, yeah, this shit like, going to go viral, uh, though. This shit going like, to go viral. my first, we moved to this place called Bud Hope. It's in motherfucking, um, thank you, baby. This is my baby, mine, too. You want to get You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Get right, I don't like the jersey, though. I don't like the jersey. Yeah, you know, we, we already know how we We ride with LeBron though. over here. You know LeBron or nothing. LeBron or nothing. play, but, um. My fault, I smoke a lot of weed. What'd you say? Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, you good. I said, what age would you say you started getting into, uh, you know what I'm saying, the street called street life and shit? About 16, bro, I could say. That's when I jumped out of We moved to this place called um, Bud Hope. It's in Troy, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And um, you know what I'm talking about? Nah, I ain't oh, never okay. heard of Troy, okay. man. You out in the Hold cut. On, bro. My shit got down going crazy right now. Hold on, let me put this bitch on silent. That bitch gonna keep going on. All right. But, um... We had moved to this place called Troy, North Carolina, right? And yeah. it was like, that was the first place I ever like was. It was like we stayed in like a real neighborhood, a real like environment where that shit was like hood. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And I met this nigga named QT, bro. Shout out my motherfucking brother. He gonna watch this interview, of course. Yeah. But this was the first nigga, like, bro. He tell you I was 16, bro. This nigga gave me a Ruger, a nine, and this nigga used to give me like quarters of weed. But yeah. instead of smoking the shit. Nigga like me think like, well damn, I ain't even smoke weed then, bro. Like just yeah. on some money shit. I'd go to school, bust the whole seven down, have other niggas sell it for me, but just smoke a blunt with them niggas after school, get all the money and shit, and go back to bro. Damn. So like, I used to hang with all these young niggas. So like the niggas, he started pulling up on me like, yo, he called me fresh. Got this shit on my neck, no cap. I don't okay. lie about nothing, but y'all know me as Chuck Money, but they yeah. used to call me fresh when I was a young nigga. And he used to pull up on me like fresh, yo. You know the movie Fresh. Like, yeah, 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 okay, the movie. yeah, yeah, I know that movie. So he used to pull up on me like fresh, yo. Ride with me. Da, da, da. The other young niggas be like, yo, can I ride? He like, nah, like little bro really got this shit in him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's when it really started. And then from just wanting to always impress him in the streets anyway. Yeah. I always wanted to impress him, so when I first ever got a thousand dollars, he was the first nigga I wanted to go see. Like, bro, bitch, I, I made a thousand dollars, nigga. You that's know what I'm saying? Though. Like. Really? Your, 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 your dad wasn't in your life around that time? Or he died? Your dad? He died? Oh, yeah, around my dad that time? died when I was about 14, 15. What up, little cuz? Okay. How he died? Um, Not to actually, go off topic, my but... dad was considered, uh, when they found him, they had him as a John Doe. Yeah. They, like, found the nigga on the train tracks, just so we don't even really know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you All know right. what I'm saying? He was a G, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like that. Okay, now what you were saying, though? You were talking about, um,. Damn, I smoke weed too. Me too, few. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you were saying, um, what was you talking about, bro? My nigga QT. Oh yeah, your nigga QT. Y'all right. still, y'all still. Oh yeah, talk. thanks. Okay. That's still my dog. Like that's still big bro to this day, and he always like I tell him like with this music shit, bro. I really want this music shit to work because like, I, what nigga want to be in the streets all his life? Yeah. Come on, bro. Let's just be real, few. Like, what nigga really want to be like? A lot of niggas do live for a rep. I want paper. I don't give a fuck if a nigga be like. This nigga chuck money, this and that, woo de woo like, bruh, I just want to have paper to take care of me and my family. My so, family. like, what nigga don't want to be able to make paper besides doing some shit illegally? Or that, that's just a dumb nigga that just probably was a lame in high school, so you just want to sell drugs and shit so niggas think you a cool motherfucker. That's yeah. so dumb. Like, nigga, you get bread, people gonna think you cool anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bitches gonna come up. So I'm the type nigga, like, I really want the music to work because it's something I love passionately doing. And like, I'm really nice. Like, if you listen to my music, bro, I tell you, he pulled up in the hood. It's yeah. really 50 thou on the hood of my car. This really my shit, drop top. No big homie, no person. No big investor. homie, what? No, no, no. Big homie? <laughs> you heard what Soldier said, the, the Drake. <laughs> You don't play with me. Most definitely. So look, that's what I want to know though, because you said 16. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You was goddamn uh, giving your your peoples the work, and you would smoke a blunt with them, and that's it. Right, right, right. How right. How did you shout have that? Shout out my nigga Mighty Joe. Shout yeah. out, bro. Shout out my nigga Mighty Joe too. He gonna talk shit like bitch. So, oh, that's what you was doing. Yeah. But bro, I was just trying to get money, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's what I'm trying to say though. Like, how the hell you had that mentality yeah, at the baby. age of 16? Because at the age of 16. I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm trying to smoke all that shit. You like, know what I'm saying? Well, now that I'm at the age I'm at, I need to see that I always love paper. Yeah. Like, so at my time, I didn't give a fuck about smoking to get high because I knew, bro, he going to smoke with me. Well, really, I'm lying. I didn't even smoke weed at the time. I'm yeah. lying. I didn't even blow at that time. So I didn't give a fuck. I just wanted the bread. And like I said, to impress my dog, 
I would want to go back to him with the money. Like, yeah, look, nigga, I flipped this so he accept me. Because yeah. he was the nigga in the hood that even the niggas older than me was up under. So they was following under this nigga, seeing what he was doing. Yeah. Shout out my nigga Thump back. Now, I don't play niggas, I just talk facts. But they was following under this nigga rules what he was doing, man. Yeah. You know, man, just, just coming up in the streets like any nigga few trying to goddamn be great, man. And like I say, a lot of niggas, that's what fuck niggas up. They niggas want to be kingpins and want that to be. No, I just want to get bread, bro. I want to get my family out this shit. Yeah. I just had my first daughter. You know what I mean? That's okay. my, my little one. Me and my, me and my baby mother, first daughter right there, man. Okay. Josh A, man. You know what I mean? That, that made me want to change a lot, though. Niggas used to always tell me that, like, bro, when you have a child, it's going to make you want to change and do this and do that. But when it really happened, that shit be like, and then, you know what I mean? My BM really being with me, like, come here, baby. We getting the joint. <laughs> That's real, though. Got to let her get her shine. She yeah. been rocking when I was in prison doing these trafficking beers and all. Damn. Yeah, so man. how long? Like, 10, 10 plus? Nah. Like nah. Ten. Yeah, almost 10. Almost 10. Damn. Up. Okay. So you say you had, I mean, how many times would you say you've been locked up and shit, bro? Um, including county or just prison? County and all that. Ooh. <laughs> you want to ask me good quick. God damn nigga, I told you I smoke. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, about 10, 11 times. 10, 11 times? How old was you when you? I prison twice, though. But I've been locked up about 10, 11 times. How old was when you first started, like, you know, uh, getting into it? Hey, man, my first time, I was 17. I got locked up in school for disorderly conduct. They fucking locked me up. My mom had to come get me out, man. Any yeah. street nigga know that. My mom had to come sign me out of jail, man. Yeah. But, like, my first real cases were, like, 19. I caught a crack charge. Damn. Yeah, RP my little brother, Quees. I was with my little nigga, and we got pulled over. And me being dumb, I got to tell y'all my dumb street stories if y'all want to hear the good ones. Yeah. The cop done got them rocked me to sleep so good, like making me think like he's so cool with me. He like, if you got anything on you, man, just tell me. And, and I tell the nigga like, man, I got an eight ball in my uh, in my sock, man. Yeah. You should have seen that nigga. I was like, huh, you got it on you right now? I'm like, yeah, man. Then I'm thinking he gonna throw the shit out or something. He like, nah, I got a charge. I'm like, damn, bro, I gotta dude. tell you. You know he was got them yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> got on that. I got them got hit again. I got hit again. I motherfucking violated the probation. That was my first bit. I did like seven months. I came home in 2011. I met Shorty Rock. You know okay. what I'm saying? And we was vibing out, booming, whatever. Doing our thing. You know, I'm a street nigga. And got caught up in some little shit. You know how the streets go. I, I, yeah. They hit the spot. I bond out. You know how we play. I go on the Nori. I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I really was going to go to court, though, few. I ain't going to lie to the people that's going to watch this. I was yeah. going to go to court. <laughs> But my lawyer, I don't know if he was on their side. You know how that shit be. He told me the whole wrong court date at my line, mama. Mm -hmm. Nigga told me the whole wrong court date. <laughs> so when I call him, he like, yo, come to court, just show up. But I end up going on the run, long story short. We go all the way to the city on their ass. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I had some people that was in your folk, so you know what's going on. Okay. But I had some people that stayed in the city and all that. You good, boy. Thank you for getting your little shine in the joint. That's my third right there. Wow, man. <laughs> but, um... We go on the run up to the city and shit, and we go up there. Bro, I'm up there, bro. I ran here for like a whole year, few. I ran really? here, they looking for me. I got like, um, they done raided the crib and yeah, shit. So you was on running for like like a year? Oh, yeah, nigga. I'm in the woods and all, nigga. I was staying in the woods. God <laughs> damn. I ain't no cap. Say, nigga, I was staying in the woods. Oh, yeah. Nigga. Oh. You know what I'm saying? What what made you want to get into this music shit though, bro? Cause it's a lot of people that's fucking with this shit. True. But what made you be like, yo, I'm gonna hop in this shit and I I I feel like I can make some money in this shit. Well, really, like my mom did music. So when I was a young nigga growing up in the house, my mom singing shit. Shout out my mom, Carla. You okay. know what I'm saying? But um, she sing and stuff, and um, she would sing in the house and have her group over there. They rehearse. So you know, as a kid, we would just want to be part of the shit. So I would want to be, and I can't even sing for shit, but I did. Now ah, trying yeah. to be a part of the shit with my mom. So I think that's where my songwriting talent came from. And then just um, R. P. My homegirl Shaquetta. When I moved Damn. to Troy, like I said, when I started getting in the streets, the nigga Q T and them, they used to have this cipher every Friday night. They would have this that's big real. ass, yeah, they would have this big ass cipher in the projects. And I used to just love. The, the best nigga always had the good hype. So I used to always be like, damn, like, I want to rap. So my homegirl, I used to always rap for her. You know what I'm saying? She always be like, nigga, you can rap. This and that. Then I'd be like, all right, yeah, yeah, freestyling. And then it's like, you know, when you start getting feedback from niggas, you spitting for niggas, and they're like, bro, you nice. Yeah. Like, boom, then you start going through more shit in life. So now I got better shit I can talk about. It's like, so that was really, I can say my mom put it in me. You know what I'm saying? The love for it. But then just the feedback from the people when it's like, 
you know, hey, I wasn't always the coolest motherfucker, mm -hmm. but when you rap for a nigga and they like, damn, bro, it make you want to keep doing it. Like, oh, they like that? Let me go write something else that's going to be hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like you really start going through life shit, so now I can talk about real shit I'm doing. Like, everything in my music, I tell a nigga that. You got a lot of niggas cap. These niggas like, not to play no rapper, but you got a lot of niggas never seen 50,000 out the streets yeah. before rap. Most like definitely. niggas rap and then they got 50,000 but nigga like my niggas we really like this little three streets right here this shit like a W bro yeah. it's like niggas don't really breed it like niggas that done seen the bag and yeah. that's what be the difference with me like music for me is really a hobby I just like doing it cause shit niggas like I, who don't like attention so I like getting on the stage yeah, and, yeah. and I'm good at it but it's it ain't like it's hard like I'm gonna have to goddamn that's my big cub like that damn man y'all niggas really out here yeah. living good Pull on in, cuz. <laughs> cuz Yeah, that's how we play, bro. This the set right here, bro. Few in the country, tell, look. Tell the niggas they on the dirt, bro. Huh? Few they got the ones on the dirt. What man. you used to listen to before you came up in this rap shit to really motivate you to get money and motivate you to rapping and shit? Um, my favorite rapper is motherfucking Jay-Z. That's my favorite rapper. Top nigga I ever, Jay Z. Yeah. Niggas like Kiss. Jeezy. I don't know if y'all niggas remember the. Uh, no, of course, like, gee, I was yeah, getting yeah. to that, but like, yeah, yeah. coming up, like, middle school era was more like motherfucking like the DJ Clue professional shit, fab yeah. niggas like that. But like, when I got into my bag on the streets, yeah, of course, like, niggas like Jeezy, mm -hmm. Big Gucci nigga, like, yeah. T.I., that's my, like, trap nigga. Yeah. Tip talk that shit, you yeah. know what I'm mean? saying? But you know that people are saying tip. Be you know, the, the, I mean, but you know, like niggas ain't never produced no paperwork, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's how we say, show the black and white. Yeah. Bro got money though. He got caught with unregistered firearm. That's what niggas don't know. Yeah. The charge, just getting caught with a firearm is not even a bad charge. It's when the gun is stolen. Yeah. You know, shit like that. It was unregistered firearm. So it ain't like they were stolen. They want nothing. That nigga got enough to pay a lawyer, bro. I just came home from a trafficking bid, and I had way more shit in that. I only paid my lawyer five thousand. He got me three years. Imagine what T I paying his lawyer. Yeah. Come on, bro. That nigga getting, he digging up Johnny Cochran and goddamn Robert Kardashian soul, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. he got that bag. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, niggas don't know that lawyer, they gonna get you what you need. Like, nigga, you could go in there and do whatever. The lawyer's what you need because. Yeah. Come holler at the people real quick. Yeah, man. Come holler at my niggas real so, quick. So, with you being in the, in the music industry right. and in the streets, man, how would you say. All this shit di is different. Like, what, what's I the mean, difference between the music? The music and industry the... is all about fucking money. And if you ain't got no money, niggas be acting like they don't want to fuck with you. Yeah. And they don't want to rock with you. Like, nigga, what happened to just seeing a nigga got talent and knowing I'm in the investment? Yeah, yeah. But that's what I noticed with music. You're going to get shitted out of money and shit going to happen. And yeah. you just got to keep going with it. You know that's what I'm cool. saying? But we're going to stay authentic regardless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's shit. Yeah, you know how my niggas fall. <laughs> we really from the shit, bro. Like we really, like these niggas right here though. Like we really can't grew up here though since okay. little kids. So this ain't like it's no, it's not one new nigga out here right now. This is this real. This is real. Yeah, fam, okay. baby. Yeah, this shit go down there now. Yep. Yeah, man. For real. OGs out here. Yeah. The real ones, nigga. So I, you know, what I'm saying I know you know Takashi is out right now, man. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? Hot. I'm talking about snitching and. Oh, okay, on the snitching factor. Yeah, the snitching factor, though. Yeah. Like, what, what does that mean, though, man? I, I mean, mean, cause you know he went through his people, his baby mama got fucked. I mean, his, look, but his, that don't got, yeah, that don't hold it. no weight with street I shit. I see what he was saying, but that bullshit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, know you signed up for this shit, niggas be doing. And this shit, listen, don't get in, you know what I'm saying? Cause in this shit, niggas be doing whole shit, yeah. you feel me? And, and it ain't just Takashi, it's a lot of niggas that ain't got the viewers and the niggas uh, Instagrams and shit ain't going viral mm -hmm. yeah. and, and they be rats, you know what I'm saying? By the way, this running man yeah. too, follow my nigga. Yeah, a lot of niggas be ratting and, and they hoods be accepting them and shit, so it go on everywhere. Hold on, Fuchsus, can I say this? Yeah. Coley P stole my nigga's song. Yeah, they, they be doing some Make shit. that go viral. Yeah. yeah Make that go viral got, though. No disrespect to bro, I ain't saying no disrespect to you nigga, but we street niggas too. My man sent you the song and then nigga you went. But look, we still can't neglect this, that shit. Swear to God, That's huh? I'm big for the streets. Yeah. My nigga, that shit go on. It ain't just all the niggas in Takashi, them 6 9 and then in the comments and shit. That shit go on in they neighborhoods. They, they closest niggas be rats. And, and, and a lot of niggas think this shit got an inspiration date. It don't. Yeah. What you think is the percentage of people uh, snitching in the streets? 
over 80%. This shit way different now. I'm about to say 73. 85. I'm going to say this. If we going to say 70, it's got to be like 75, man. I'm, you got to put some measure. You got to put some measure. Oh because it's in everybody neighborhood. They all be ratting. Yep. Yeah. They all be ratting. They all be pussy. I done seen it all happen. <laughs> man, listen. Niggas can't hold niggas, shit niggas, was, niggas supposed to be banned and all that. Yeah. You feel me? Niggas supposed to be banned. Ask my niggas what the guy did when they, when they, when they, when they, they, when they took the kid the, in there. What's your bro do, though? Niggas with these what's your bro do, though, bro? When they wanted your bro, what's your bro do? We talking about head head Yeah, you do your thing. You do your thing. We ain't talking about that. We talking about the rat niggas. Nah, but no, what I'm saying, though, but what the real niggas do. We got to put, we know what real niggas do. Real niggas hold their head high, man. Nah, you got to put the light on the snitching part, man, because it's a lot of niggas. Yeah, but this is my interview. Fuck them rats. Yeah, that's how they do it. We're going to say what I did, nigga. I held my head high when I got put in the corner, nigga. Yeah. My niggas had, my niggas done being on pistol charges and like, nigga, this ain't just me. So look, that's what I'm saying. Because you is definitely real, and you always stood tall. Do your time, you take your charge, you still fighting. But because Out of that, on the 200 you, right now. Because of that, you take, your, <laughs> take your platform and, yep. and shed and light. How niggas be faking to be light. Like and me. that's how it be. And they ain't cut it's like, like that. You, for got, real. you might got a nigga like me, like my bro just said, nigga out on the $200,000 bond for a nigga telling. But you yeah. got a nigga like Takashi come home, fuck it. We're gonna talk about it, fuck it. Yeah. You got a nigga Takashi come yeah, home, right? Really Edit it, it up, shit, get this right. Man, that shit, Edit it up, get this right for a few. We don't even gotta get the. But you got a nigga like me. Out right now, my niggas can vouch all my niggas out here. Bond was six hundred thousand. That's my nigga. Yeah. Bond was six hundred. Stood solid, nigga. I'm talking about trying to hit me for bodies. Am I lying, guys? All kind of shit, bro. Crazy shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, they got me in that damn damn a million dollar bond. You can go ask my baby mama when I'm no school back. Yeah. You can ask my baby mama what I do, nigga. I'm staying solid, man. Damn, Send me the bro. money for them suits and shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, man. Yeah. Do your job, nigga, as a detective, motherfucker. I can't tell you nothing. Yeah. I don't know nothing. Cause they, cause they say, you know what I'm saying, when the fans come get you, bro, they already got everything figured out. But guess what? But they got a 99, that, yeah. 95 or 99 percent conviction rate. Yeah, that's what I heard. Chance, nigga. Keep your goddamn mouth shut. Let them do their motherfucking job. Yeah. It's going. Yeah, bro. No cap, bro. All right, I got it right here. There we go. Real, I real right money, man. Real. Yeah. Yeah, man. So talk about, like, the projects you got to down. The jets? Talk about the projects that you got out, bro. Okay. Well, the projects that now, it's two projects. You got the old, you got the new. The new is the east side, the old is the west side. Now, the old, uh, I know a few niggas in the old, but I'm not going to say that was never really my stumping grounds. I've never really fucked around out there super heavy. Yeah. But now, the east side, yeah, facts, man. It's like I grew up there and everything. That's like that shit. The next interview, I promise you, we shooting that shit in the projects in the east side. I promise you. Okay. Real niggas out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, real niggas came up out that side of town. Real good. Real get money niggas come out the pines. You know okay. If you ask about our way, a lot of niggas might know Southern Pines. They might be like, Jackson Hamlet, that's why I'm turning y'all on. Yeah. It's our little hood right here. Niggas know, like, niggas, niggas around here know Jackson Hamlet, but like, like on the masses, a nigga be like Fayetteville or might know Southern Pines, like but nah, this yeah. the real trenches right here. Okay, well let niggas know where they can follow you at, man. Man, shit, look, man, you can find me on Facebook at Chuck Jackson, mm -hmm. on Instagram at Chuck Money underscore Run It Up, on Snapchat at Chuck Money Forever. I got the uh, Carolina Mind State out. You can find it on YouTube. I'm gonna be real, I'm just getting on my rapper bag. So you know what I mean? I got videos on YouTube. You can look up Chuck Money. I got the no cap. You know what I mean? Real big dog shit, man. Y'all fuck with me, man. This is okay. really how we live it, man. You see how we ride it? Yeah, man. Oh, is it? Oh, Carolina Mind State took by the drop. Okay. No, nah, I told him. I was just telling him no cap probably pop up when they go to it, mama. You see what yeah. BM on it. That's what's up, though, man. You need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's this what how we live. living, bro. It ain't no cap on our shit. We really out here, man. This shit ain't. Niggas know me, though. In the city, you know, and it's going to be haters. It's going to be niggas that's going to say shit. Yeah. And it's going to be niggas that's going to hate. But, nigga, you can't hate what's great right in your face. Like, Most come on, definitely. Man. This shit right here in your face. Yeah. You can say what you want, but you can't deny what's right in front of you, bro. Yeah. Go listen to the music. Now, y'all fucking with my my character probably like, damn, bro, young fly nigga, jewelry, da da da. Now go listen to the music and watch how you be like, oh man, any talking that shit. Go listen to this shit, man. Most definitely. For real, man. man. Chuck Money, man. It, Get used to the name. Is it some Shout Carolina out, artist? I'm trying to link up with, bro. What's bro, Merch? Murder, little murder, murder man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to link, big bro. Yeah, that's all I'm about to ask. Like, is it NC? Is it any NC artists that you, you know what I'm saying? You want to work with in the future? 
I was actually um trying to get together and work with the nigga Big Three. I'm trying. To work okay, with say it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to work with Murder. I, I I just like him just on some street shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah. his vibe. I can tell here a nigga that's like me that's really got his foot in the shit. You know yeah, what yeah. Saying? So I would love to link with him and really uh do some shit with him and every Carolina nigga, the baby, of course. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? But um, okay. I want I want to I want to go so hard with this shit that them niggas come looking for me. Like, bro, bro, okay, yeah, nigga, we see who you is, nigga. Like, yeah. I'm really out the mud. My shit authentic. Like, it ain't no label building me like a potato head, like putting arms on me, legs, and putting me out there like, oh, he's street. It's authentic, my nigga. Yeah. Look me up, my background, nigga. I just came home from a trafficking vid, nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah, we just did one. I'm home, nigga. Like, free yeah. all my niggas, free my nigga core. You know what I'm saying? Out of Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the mafia. You know what I'm saying? My niggas out of Charlotte, they got their little shit going on. My nigga Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Out the mafia. Okay. Uh, all my niggas doing their shit, man. My nigga Running Man, make sure y'all follow my brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, Trip Jones, Mac, motherfucking, um, my mind working so fast. Why the Bully, uh, LA Trey, um, motherfucking B Ringo, Pyrex, my motherfucking cousin. Uh, these artists I'm telling y'all about that's in my city. I'm not the only nigga. Yeah, that's real though. I'm the big dog though. Yeah. <laughs> they know. <laughs> real, real rats, man. Real rack aids, man. Street nigga, man. Certified pussy. Yeah. But yeah, man. So talk about like the, the, the music that you got coming out, bro, for 2020. Um, right now. Excuse me. I got the uh, mixtape right now that's out, Carolina Mind State 1. Going by the morning, I'm cooking dope while I'm yawning. I'm in the kitchen performing. Look at the jackets, they swarm it. When it was just something I put out real fast, because I had got, excuse me, I was making it. And um, I was going to the A. I got like features from Diamond from Crowd Mob on there. Okay, that's what's I mean, up. I got some nice features on there. My man Matt the Black Sheep, but um, I had got locked up and shit. So like everybody was like, man, what the mixtape was. So when I came home, I just put something together, put out. But this right here, Carolina Mind State 2, man. Beautiful project, man. I don't even got no date for it right now because I'm still, you know, court little shit going on. I'm trying to get out the way, but um, yeah, it'll be out very soon, man. Good project. It got, I tell niggas with my music, if you want party songs, I got that. You want some shit to ride to, I got that. Yeah. You want shit for the ladies, I got that. I call myself the hood Drake. I always tell niggas that. Cause yeah. I, I like to do any kind of song, like, because I got five fucking personalities. You know what word, I'm saying? Word, so, word, word. Like, I can give you a song for each nigga, nigga, like for real. Yeah. And I got, man, just type in Chuck Money on the tube, bro. It's gonna come up. Follow me on Instagram, Chuck Money underscore run it up. Snapchat, Chuck Money Forever. Facebook, Chuck Jackson. Um, ch ha, ha, big tough. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, man. We signed out this shit. Love, bro.